Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is the Kawaii King, and I wanted to uh, give a quick tutorial on RPG Maker and V on how to actually use the tile sets. Now, um, I just barely figured it out myself, and the reason I'm giving you this tutorial right now is because there's a lot of feelings that I have that um, I feel like I'll forget about once I get way more comfortable with this system. And a lot of the message boards and videos and stuff that I saw myself were completely useless. So I'd rather give this advice now, now that, it, you know, while the frustrations are fresh rather than later. Um, and so just in case you guys have any of these issues, I'm going to clear them up for you right now because I had a lot of weird issues in the beginning. Um, anyways, so let's get right started right into it. Um, so let's say you want to make custom tile sets, right? So none of this, you know, uh, basic crap that you start out with, you know. I mean, it's not crap; it's it's good, but it's if you know if you if you want to have a, a game that's original and and you know you want, really want people to play, and it's not just another RPG maker game, you're not going to use any of this, right? So you're going to make your own tile sets. Um, and so the problem with that is, let's say you put it in one of these sections right here. So let's, you decide not to change the name or make a new, uh, or make another, uh, one of these, uh, you, you know, your own set of tile sets. You, you want to, you know, just add on s a few extra tiles to what the already existing gallery of tiles and you click on ground or, or, or buildings or walls or normals, any, any, any one of these five uh presets so then you decide to do this uh and apply let's let's try to see n nothing ha see how this looks like this it 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 does it's not doing the thing that it's supposed to unlike the presets the, the presets work just fine but if i try to use the tiles that i actually made um all of a sudden it either doesn't work or it does this weird shit. so the way you fix that um is actually quite simple but kind of weird um you just literally you skip all five of these and you go to your own uh you could either pick like a b c or d i suppose you could say so i just went with d so same thing it's original tiles beta beta that's these are the tiles i made up apply okay i hit on d and then let's see all of a sudden i'm getting the tile that i actually created See, it, it, it's not the weird sand stuff that I was getting before. It's the actual tile that I made. See, all of a sudden, I'm getting the tiles that I want. So make sure to not click any one of these five uh, unless you're using the basic tiles. I don't know why that happens. Uh, maybe if you guys have any solutions to that, go ahead and let me know. But as for right now, it seems that every time I use these five air sections in and like the presets it, it'll cause an issue so avoid these if you can and then just make up your own on the bottom here now uh another big thing to remember uh is uh you don't uh okay so <laughs> what i meant by the message boards are completely useless is uh there was a person that asked like what if we can rotate tiles in the uh, an RPG maker and you can't and what they people thought in the message someone in the mess a bunch of people in the message boards thought that what they meant by rotating is like a literal 3d rotation and that's not what we mean in, in game maker and other programs there are ways to rotate a, a, a tile 90 degrees or 180 degrees um, so like let's say I want to rotate this one and turn it into this right so I, I want to flip it to this side so that I can do this because I can't use it if it's like this, right? It looks weird. I want f f this one. So ideally you would want it to, you know, just rotate it, you know, just whatever. Uh, oh, cool. It would be awesome if I can just rotate the tile and I don't have to go make a whole nother one. I can just make one set and then go with that one. So unfortunately you can't do that. I mean, it's whatever. Um, you're going to just have to make multiples of the same and it's it, sh it should be fine it's it's pretty simple i mean you can just copy paste what you have and you know you can end up with something like this right so i had to make a few like this uh that just included the the actual elements that i needed um 
and so yeah that's that's the way that's there's no, there's no way to rotate tiles um and another thing to watch out for is um as you're making uh basically your map is you want to be careful about the layers so for example um uh, this right here it seems i messed up because you can see the grass on the corner there so i'll have to go back and fix that uh but so let's so the grass gives that effect that you know there's like grass peeking out if i leave it like this it just looks like a weird i don't know some sort of weird uh field or like a baseball field or something that's what i'm imagining right now um so for example this is the upper layer so there are four layers you can work within um so this is layer one this is layer two so this will basically this second part right here will be above this first part that way um that way um it doesn't you know they're not just like all like on top of each other so if you click on this one they'll just all be on top of each other and it'll look really weird um so in case you're having issues with that that's the way around that um pretty simple um so just to give you an example here um let's quickly just fill this up and, and make sure you kind of cover every corner because see right here i had an issue right here where um because now i can't i can't fit the different see i have to pick one or the other tile and if you try to just cheat your way and and, and just go up another layer and do this it'll it'll fix your problem sure momentarily however now you've wasted an entire layer in one one block um for just adding some grass so you're better off just you know just taking the extra 10 seconds on photoshop or gimp or whatever you're using to just use one one total uh you know just try to make, keep as much as many of the pixels as you can uh, within the layers so d don't go wasting uh the layers here so see I, I can just do this i don't have to waste another layer for this one uh block right here uh not a pixel i'm sorry i, I, don't, I don't know what it's called the, the section the block so now i can use this this uh tile here uh oh, tile <laughs> there we go um for something else so uh yeah so just just do that unfortunately though you can't flip them or bundle them or anything you just kind of have to um, do this what I did here something like this um, now just to kind of finish my point here uh, see what I mean so I haven't I have to make another one of these tiles here but rotated so i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to go back in photoshop and fix that um just for just to finish this video i'm gonna cheat my way here like i said don't do this this is a bad idea uh especially if you're trying to use the t uh as much of the space that you're uh using that you're given or using uh for a lot of like events and stuff so tr just try to avoid that in general um, if you can um, and yeah as you can see it's uh it's pretty simple i mean oh, whoops. started somewhere else um oh this will do so yeah as you can see uh yeah it looks fine i only wasted two layers for to do all of this so that gives me two other layers to do all kinds of other crazy stuff um and like i said uh these are just some of the issues i encountered that i didn't see any immediate solution so if you were wondering why your tiles were showing up transparent or why they were um not popping up the way you wanted to uh it's it's simply because i don't know what it is but it's it's simply because you're using the wrong i guess like section so tr try to avoid the a's if you can um you're likely to encounter problems they're likely to either be the wrong tile be transparent or whatever i don't know i'm sure there's a, a, an actual purpose to these sections i haven't figured it out yet but like i said i'm gonna 
keep giving tutorials as I figure out stuff because um, all these frustrations are fresh in my mind. And I feel like most people, when you're looking through boards and, and um, forums and stuff, they've already been using the program for a while. So they've gotten very comfortable with these problems um, and, and they're just kind of used to it. That, that's kind of what happens. I remember with my premiere days, I don't even remember what my original frustrations were anymore because I've, I've gotten so good at it that I kind of just accepted whatever it is now. Um, but uh, I will keep making these videos. I, you know, I just, you know, if I can help someone in my similar situation, I'm going to do it. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Uh, nothing crazy. I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. Um, and I hope this, uh, solved your problems. All right. See you guys.